Oh, Jack! 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 I need to talk to you. I had the most terrible vision. No, no, no. It was about Christmas. There was smoke and fire. Jack, please listen to me. It's going to be a disaster. Jack, listen to me. Why won't he listen to me? I had this terrible vision where Christmas was ruined. Oh, Jack is so crazy. My precious, precious Jack is going to get hurt. I just know it. I had this most terrible vision of Christmas being ruined. You see, my Jack, he went to this place called Christmas Town. And you know what, my Jack, he's the king of Halloween Town, not the king of Christmas Town. And he wants to make Halloween Town Christmassy. And he's asked me, he asked me to make his Santa Claus outfit. But I just know he won't listen to me. I just know. I just know that it's going to be a disaster. I had this terrible vision and there was fire and there was smoke. I just know my Jack's going to get hurt, but he won't listen to me. He's too far up in his head with all these fantasies of Christmas town and how he wants to make everything Christmassy. It's, what about Halloween town? He was the king of the pumpkin patch. I don't know what's going on. You don't look like yourself, Jack. Not at all. But you're the pumpkin king. Jack, I know you think something's missing, but sorry. Jack, Jack. Something's missing with him. I just know it. But he won't listen to me. He's so far up in his head. And he never notices me. I've always loved him since day one. Ever since we first met, I had a thing for Jack, you know. It was like a spark to my heart, you know? And I mean, I'm just made of stitches and and everything. I'm just a doll. I'm a rag doll and I'm made of stitches. I'm not exactly perfect, but I just know me and Jack are the same person and we're meant to be together, you know? But he won't listen to me. He's so far in his head with this Christmas town and he doesn't care about Halloween anymore. It's like it doesn't matter. And I had this terrible vision where Christmas would go totally wrong. I, I saw, I was sat down. I had this Christmas tree in my hand and it turned into smoke and fire. I just don't want it to all go wrong. You know what I mean? It's so terrible. I just hope my premonition isn't true. I sense there's something in the wind that feels like tragedy that hand and though I'd like to stand by him, can't shake this feeling that I have. The worst is just around the bend. 
poor, poor Jack. What will become of him? I love him. He's so precious to me. Why won't he listen? I'm Sally. He always listens to his Sally. He's always listened to me before. Why is this so different? Come sit together now and forever. For it is plain as anyone can see. We simply meant to be. I just love to sing a song, don't you? It always takes my mind off everything that's going on. I know me and Jack, we're going to be lovers forever, but I just wish he'd listen to me sometimes. I am his sweet Sally. I can't wait till this old Christmas town fairy wipes off the face of the earth and we get Halloween Town back. I love Halloween Town. You have to see the place. It's there's this spooky mansion that Jack has. This there's this little dog. His little dog with the glowing nose. You remember him. And obviously, there's me, Sally. It's so nice to meet you. It's really nice to meet you finally. Um, it's, it's just an honor, and I wish you could see some of my little ingredients that I come up with. It's too bad I don't have any today to show you, but I just didn't have the time to conjure up anything, so I'm, I'm terribly sorry. But I hope this whole... Christmas Town Fairy wipes off the face of the earth. I mean, Jack's never been this person before. He's always been... <sighs> he's always been... He's always been himself, but he just doesn't feel himself this time. He went to this Christmas Town. I just knew it was all dangerous. It was completely dangerous. But he never, Jack never listens to me. When a plan comes to plan, he never really truly listens to his dear Sally. But I always remember our happy ending and how we met. It was perfect. And I'm glad I met my precious Jack Skellington. We're meant to be. Even though I'm a rag doll and I'm not, and I've got stitches everywhere, and I'm not perfect. Nobody's perfect. We're all unique. We're all special. I know. I wish I could stay more, but I'm. I can't stay longer because I have to sort of. I have to put my little Jack in suspense right now. He's having terrible problems. I mean, I'm not surprised. My Jack doesn't have a brain like all skeletons do. He's a brainless skeleton, but he's my brainless skeleton and I love him. It's been so nice to see you and I hope I can catch up with my Jack and I can explain to him about you and what you've been saying to me. You gave me some pretty cool advice. And I hope I can catch up with my Jack. Oh, I can see Jack now. Jack! Jack, I need to talk to you. Oh, he's gone somewhere. But I tell you what I'll do, since I did sing for you just then. Um, that was my song that I was singing from, obviously, my song that I sing. Um... I will sing my song one more time for you before I leave because I owe you so much and you are a very good friend to me. It's so nice to finally meet you.
I'm sorry I couldn't stay long, but you know, I have to sort of wipe this theory from Jack's brain about the Christmas town and the Christmas decorations and the whole Christmas theory. I know it's dangerous and I know it's not right. There's something I can sense that's very dangerous and I know something's gonna go completely wrong. And I want to make sure that he's safe. I always do. So I'm gonna sing my song for you one more time because I owe you that much. So would you like to hear my song one more time before I leave? You too? Well, perfect. Um, okay. I hope you enjoy the song and I'll be seeing you very soon. I'm sorry I didn't have any spells or any of my special suit that I make for my professor. Um, that I make for my professor, who I'm always over hanging around with, who cheats me. Yes, Dr. Dr. Frankenstein. He's a famous scientist. I always give him his wonderful soup. And he loves it. He'll eat it all the time. I love him. Obviously, the only person that I would stay away from is the boogeyman because my Jack doesn't like the boogeyman. He's very ferocious and very mean. He kidnapped me and uh, I nearly got chopped to pieces by him. But my Jack came along and he saved me. He's my hero. He always is. So, I'm going to sing my song for you one more time. I hope you enjoy. I sense there's something in the wind that feels like tragedy is at hand. And all I'd like to stand by him can shake this feeling that I have. The worst is just around the bend, and I see no. My feelings for him And will he see How much he means to me I think it's all beauty What will become of my dear friend Where will his actions lead us then Although I'd like to stand by him in their room, although I'd like to join the crowd, in their enthusiastic glow, try as I may, it doesn't last, and will we ever end up together? No, I think not. It's never to become, for I am not the one. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll be seeing you very soon. I love you. Sally loves you. She always does. Mwah! Goodbye! Sally loves you, and so does Jack Skellington. Goodbye.